Are you looking for the best streaming settings for 720p? If so, you've got the right video. What is going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the best stream settings for 720p for Streamlabs OBS. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So getting started, let's go ahead and change our canvas size. So let's at least check it because by default, if we are going for 720p, a lot of times the output scaled resolution is 720p, which it currently is. So that means we're actually good. So if for some reason it is something other than this and we're streaming at 720p, we're going to want to change this to 1280 by 720. And I would leave the frames per second at 30 and by cubic as the sharpened scaling. And I would leave it there. The next thing we're going to want to look at is obviously the streaming type. So make sure to select the service, which if it's Twitch, make it Twitch, YouTube, make it YouTube. If you can't see it, the service that you're using, you might need to check see or show all services. And then you can go through here and find what you're looking for. If you're messing with a really obscure website, you might have to use a custom streaming server and paste in a URL and everything like that. The only thing that you're going to need that you might not have is a stream key. So you might have to Google how to get a Twitch stream key. I would put that in this video, but then I would feel like I'd have to do it for Mixer and the location of these things changes actually quite often for some of these platforms. I feel like it's changed like three or four times in the last four years for Twitch, which is kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, you would place that in there and that gives you access to, you know, getting your stream to the internet and you can select a server. I tend to leave my server selected as auto whenever I stream and I typically stream on Twitch. The next thing we're going to want to look at is our output. And once again, for the sake of this video and for the sake of these videos, I'm not going to be using the advanced tab. There are tons of things that we can do in here to tune it for your system to work most optimally. But the whole purpose of this video is making a video that is accessible for the masses that want to stream at 720p. So I'm not going to be messing with those advanced settings and we're not going to mess with recording or replay buffer. The recording is definitely something for another video and we will get into that uh, hopefully next week. So what kind of settings do we need to have? And this is something I actually mentioned in the last video I made. So I'm going to go ahead and hopefully my history is still here and this is what we're looking for. So the bit rate is something that is a variable that changes from streamer to streamer because it has to do with how much bit rate are you or how much bandwidth of your internet are you willing to allocate to your stream? So for example, for the 720p range, we're gonna allocate anywhere from probably 2000 KB per second, all the way up to probably about 4000 KB per second. And if you start getting over 4000, you're going to probably wanna to go to 1080p. And if you start going under, I would say about 3000 or 2000 KB per second, no, 2000 KB per second, I would start saying we're going to want to probably downgrade to 480p. So how do we figure out what we're able to allocate? Well, let's see how much we've got in total. So right now I'm running a speed test and you can see my download is in the 30s. This has no effect on your stream whatsoever. The upload is what affects it. But one thing I want to say is run multiple speed tests because you do not know, you know, at first we were getting about 20 to 30. That might not be the same from time to time. So we want to definitely make sure that we check it and make sure it stays consistently or it can consistently hit a certain percentage. So we're able to hit 10 very consistently and that's where our bottom end is. So we definitely don't want to stream over that. With that being said, we've got 10. So we're able to stream up to about 4,000 KB per second. So this is what this would look like. We would set this to about 4,000. Once again, I think this is the high end for 720p. I wouldn't go much over it. And if you were streaming on the low end, I probably wouldn't go under 2000 because if you're not able to hit um, above 2000 or hit 2000 or above, then you probably need to stream lower. So what dictates um, how much we could use? So let's say, for example, you were getting a two upload on your megabytes per second. That means you literally only have 2000 KB per second to upload. And that becomes a very sticky area or a very bad issue if you're trying to stream at 2000 and that's your max. That means if you're trying to use TeamSpeak, Skype or Discord, you're not going to have any other bandwidth for it and you're going to start losing frames like crazy. So to be able to stream at 2000 KB per second, I would recommend that you at least have a 2.5 megabytes per second upload speed. 
and three definitely being the target range for at least being able to stream there comfortably. So like I said, the high end, uh, the low end 2000 with a 2.5 upload and then the high end, anything probably over five and then you can stream with a solid 4000 pretty decently. So the next question you might have is what encoder setting do we need to use? I currently only have X264 because I do not have a NVIDIA GPU in this computer. For example, if you had a NVIDIA graphics card in your computer, you can actually select two other options now, and that is NVEN Sync and NVEN Sync New. If you have the option for NVEN Sync New, I would suggest to use that. It's gonna take the processing power off your processor and it's gonna put it on your graphics card. It typically uses a different part of the graphics card, so you might not even see any uh, depreciation in graphics quality from your game. So I would definitely suggest using that if you have that as an option. If not, software x.264 is an option as well, so definitely go ahead and try that out. The audio bit rate, we're just gonna leave the same because I've not really seen much gains or losses by changing this and I'm by no means an audio engineer, so I wouldn't really be able to tell how to tweak that to the best settings. But once again, 160 tends to work for most people, so I suggest leaving it there. The next thing we're gonna wanna check out is the audio tab, so definitely go ahead and go to that. We're gonna leave all this standard, and the only thing you might wanna change is by selecting your desktop audio device. Set this to your speakers, if that's where your audio normally comes out of. And your microphone, set this to wherever your audio normally comes out of as far as your microphone. So if you've got a Blue Snowball microphone, you're going to want to select that here. Or if you have an Audio Technica, you'll select that here. If you've got a simple headset microphone and you see your headset here, select that as well. That way your audio can get to your stream. The next thing we're going to want to mess with is the Advanced tab. And in here, we're going to mess with the process priority. By default, this is set to normal we're going to want to change this to above normal. And the reason why I suggest this is because this tells your computer that your stream is a priority to you in the processing and RAM and all that stuff like that. So it makes sure that it never loses or doesn't get enough of what it needs. This keeps you from dropping frames in your stream. All right, that's gonna be all for this video. If you guys enjoyed or this helped you out, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, comment in the comment section down below what about this video enlightened you to the stream settings of OBS. And that's gonna be all. Once again, this has been Chad from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.